Finally here, and we are getting Sarah. There she is. All right, what's your plan? Okay, so the kitchen's over there. The kitchen's over here. Okay, the kitchen's over here. The bed's over here. Then what? Then our beds are. Nora, you can fall out. That's care. You gotta be careful. Then the Pull it closed. Oh, you want the bunk I'll beds on this be, side? Yeah. I don't be watching. Oh, you want your bunk we'll bed over here? Yeah, I don't. I we'll don't have no, to take no out more this. touching. We'll, we'll have to take out the speaker. Oh, okay. But then we could like be like, Elliot and Nora, wake up! It's wake up time. Wake up! Good morning, Vietnam. Would you like to wake up that way? Not even a little bit. Nope. Okay. All right. So you think our beds should be over here, and your beds should be over here, uh -huh. and then what? And then what? There could be a toy cabinet right there. A toy cabinet right here? Yeah. A whole cabinet just for toys? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know about that. What else? What else? Nope. If this were your your build. Nothing. Nothing else? If you can't have a toy cabinet, you can't have anything? Toy cabinet. All right. Ooh. Yeah. Right. The doors didn't close. Start driving it for the second time. Serendipity. 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 Sarah. 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 We're back in town, so you know we had to get eLife again. It is vegan soul food. We got some cream. I am this. Spinach thing. Oh, yeah. Mommy, yeah. I that one's an Old Bay wing. There's vegan mac and cheese, rice. And then these were like a maple bourbon or something like that. Kind of wings. Mac and cheese, and then these are uh, fish fillets, which the girl who worked there said are amazing. The kids are devouring it. Along with Eli.
want to overfill a tank, I'll tell you that right now. Oh, wait, you know how far are you going to get on 20 gallons? Yeah. Is it possible that the gauge is broken? Yes, it's very possible. <laughs> Oh, we filled up on seventy dollars, but we're a little nervous about that. Are we ready? Apparently, the door broke, so now we are ready to go. Hopefully, Hopefully nothing else breaks. Whenever you buy something used, you don't know what you're gonna get. Apparently, the arm just totally broke on the door when Eli was trying to leave. So, I was just checking on him. We are going about 55, and that's probably going to be our max. Following the bus. Sarah doesn't go much faster than that. We're going to actually... We're going to go see a mechanic about getting the... I forget what the name of it is, but there's like a, something on it that keeps it from going above a certain uh, speed, and we want it to go a little bit faster. We don't need it to go too much faster, but this is going to be a long ride home not going above 55. Long drive to Ohio, going 55 miles an hour. See, I get nervous about this because when you're driving downhill like this on a school bus, it's not like driving in a car. You have to brake a certain way. So before buying a school bus, don't just go willy-nilly. You have to learn how to actually drive it too. And when you're going down these major hills and around these major corners, um, you have to learn how to brake a certain way or your brakes can catch fire and you can get in a car accident. <laughs> Completed. We're about to lose our uh, temp tag, of course. If it's not one thing, it's another. He said there's tape in here. It's painter's tape, you guys. We should have been only on the road for six hours, not counting stops. And we've now been on the road for eight hours and 22 minutes. Oh, yeah. That just happened. That's painter's tape. There's smoke coming out of it now. We have to see what's going on now. Alright, this is something we didn't foresee in our adventure of getting a schoolie. So after being um, on the road, we got on the road at 11 o'clock in the morning because that's when we had to check out from um, the hotel and we went to breakfast really fast and then we went back to the not at the hotel no 
the hotel like nickel and dime does I do not recommend that hotel at all um, they you had to pay to use the extra to use the pool extra to use like everything even their breakfast was a continental breakfast but it wasn't free and it was only till nine o'clock in the morning or something like that and it was um, eight dollars a person forget that so we went to try to get breakfast, but it was, oh, excuse me, uh, the restaurants were filling up because it was around the time that people were getting out of church. So we just hit up a drive through at Starbucks and then we went back and got, uh, got the bus from the hotel parking lot and so I'd say like, then we had to get gas. So I'd say noon, we officially probably hit the road. It was probably before that actually, who cares? Um, the point is, is that it is now two o'clock in the morning. We were driving. It was only supposed to be a six hour road trip. And here we are, it is two o'clock in the morning. We really thought we were going to be home at around 8.20 p.m., but we're driving down the road, and all of a sudden, the I see Eli pulling over. There's a little bit of black smoke that appears to be coming out of the tailpipe, and he um, comes over and says, the bus just stopped running while it was while he was driving um he was able to get it to the side of the road thank goodness but we have literally been on the side of this highway <laughs> for five hours and here we are tow truck is here we're supposed to have all state for our um insurance we do have all state we paid extra for the towing and we called them and they were totally condescending and claimed that none of their companies would come out this far or drive that far or um, didn't have the proper equipment. They gave like, each place gave a different excuse, I guess. Or they didn't have anybody available for six hours. Well, guess what? We could have waited one more hour. They could have come and got our bus. But anyways, we called upon Schooly Nation on Facebook. And we got a lot of great responses trying to help out. And we truly, truly appreciated that. Um, at least in the meantime of waiting to try to get a uh, tow truck. We were able to try a few things to try to figure out and we did get the bus actually going But as soon as he put it in gear it shut back off again And that's when we said okay, it's time to find a tow truck on our own and um, We called Allstate back. They gave us the phone number to somebody who's out of network So now we're gonna have to pay out of pocket for this tow they said we can um, submit the claim, though, so hopefully, with any luck, they'll still pay for it. But this is all part of the adventure, guys. It's all part of the adventure. Not such a wonderful day. how you really feel about it. <laughs> <laughs>
We just followed the guy, the tow truck to the repair place, repair shop for trucks with semis. Yep, Elliot's got it. I'm so tired. It's 3:40 in the morning, and we're at the semi repair shop. And Eli went in to get everything figured out with payment and making sure they can get things fixed and all that good stuff. And, uh, yeah. She made a joke. Maybe we named her the wrong Sarah. Maybe she would should have been named K Sarah Sarah. Whatever will be, will be. She runs like a dream now. I'll see you guys at home. See you on the flip guys, side. Deuces. Stay, stay buckled up. Can you hear me? Yeah. Elliot, Laura? Yes. Both hear me? Yes. All right, have a safe trip. I'm going in the tree. Yep, I'm going in pepper. Love you. All right, so we just picked up serendipity. The kids are riding with Eli. I need to get my seatbelt on. We're still in the parking lot. Um, and um, almost two thousand dollars later, she is ready for the road again. Hurrah! 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 I'm excited to get the build started. The next question is, we have pretty much the layout of the bus planned and all of that. We have to decide what we want, what color we want the exterior to be. That is the next question. I gotta turn this light off now because this is gonna be distracting to drive with. I'm just in the parking lot right now. Toodles. All right, we're definitely able to go more than 55 now. I just had to go 60 to catch, or 70 to catch up to him. Yeah, one of the one of the things that we had them fix is um, we had the mechanism taken off that keeps the engine from going over 65 miles an hour. Yay! So we're going 60 right now. So exciting. The kids are riding with him, so I hope he doesn't go too much faster. <laughs> well, we got home with Serendipity last night, and uh, she's in good working order, finally. It looked like it was the fuel pump, and they replaced that. They took it out on the road to get it to make sure that it was running well and it broke down again so they had to replace another part and after all was said and done we are almost two thousand dollars in the hole it was like one thousand nine hundred dollars eli and i decided that we're okay with paying that um and that we were okay with moving forward with this particular schoolie. And we are just really, really, really excited to get started on our build. We cannot wait. Um, our next biggest question is, what color do you think we should paint her? We are struggling with the exterior paint color. We um, both really like this one retro look. But Eli doesn't like the idea of painting stripes. I think he wants it to be a solid color. And picking a solid color is really hard. Like, I really love the color teal, but it's... There are a lot of people who seem to be painting 
they're schooly that color um i like a blue but same thing there's a lot of blues that i see white kind of reminds me of a prison bus um and i like the idea of the top being white which we're definitely doing and then the rest of it being a different color but what color hmm we want to be able to boondock once in a while and when you boondock you tend to want to be more inconspicuous and when you have like a fluorescent color or a super bright color you can't really be inconspicuous you're gonna draw attention to yourself I really want it to be though like something that would be photogenic when we do go places that you know we can take awesome pictures and videos and have serendipity look really nice up against that but we're just really excited to have serendipity home um make sure to watch as we start our build so you're gonna have you're gonna want to subscribe ring that bell so that you are the first to know when we upload a new video and like the video, let us know that you like what we're doing and it helps support us to let us know that. And if you have any comments, any ideas for paint colors, uh, leave a comment below. We'd love to hear it. I hope our little adventure doesn't hinder anybody else's uh, yearning for this adventure because, I mean... We went into this knowing it could happen. It's a 20-year-old bus. It still had the original parts, and that's pretty much what they said. That these are parts that would have gone, you know, sooner or later anyway. Um, Serendipity was inspected by the school district that she came from, like, in July, I think, or June. I don't have the paperwork with me, but it's not like we didn't check on that, um, but... A 20-year-old part is going to have to get replaced eventually, whether it's on our dime or whomever. So, better now than when we're, like, on our way to a trip, on a trip, and it ruins our whole trip. Like a camping trip or whatever, one of our adventures. So, Eli and I are really excited. The kids are super excited, and, uh... Stick around. See what we're going to do as far as the build. It's going to be exciting. We bought a bus. <laughs> I can't believe we bought a bus. I don't even know what I was going to say. <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs>